taking a break because doing this gives me anxiety. Every time I make a video, I get anxiety. And then I edit it and get more anxiety. Then I upload it and I have to run away. So I made, I love my mug, by the way. I, had, I made me some coffee. Cheers. So I was two and a half years into tapering and I had gotten really serious about it because it had started causing reactions in my joints. There's, you know, receptors in, in your joints that deal with inflammation and all that. And I was getting to the point where I had spasms in my lower back to the point where after two years of those spasms, I was not using my back in certain ways and it was affecting my thighs and those mus muscles were atrophying to the point where my knees were taking most of the stress and they were starting to swell and hurt and I couldn't even walk and I'm a very active person and, and just trying to go see my daughter and trying to go play and rock climb and do things, I couldn't do it anymore. My life had become very small as that's it. I will go through whatever I have to go through. So I was in the throes of misery for six months down to a quarter of a clonopin, hurting, miserable, in pain, full of panic and anxiety. And I went to the woods to try to walk and I found a red mushroom. Well, it's orangey red here. And I was like, holy crap, that's beautiful. And I got on a mushroom ID group, found out what it was. Poisonous toxin, it'll kill you. I'm like, well, I'm not eating the damn thing. But I, then I started seeing stuff in my searches, you know how they, you get suggestions for things, talking about the Santa Claus story. And then I started finding all the postcards and pictures of the mushroom with children and, you know, <laughs> gnomes. <laughs> and I thought, wait a minute, something's going on here. If it's in history and lore and all this, you know, in the the reindeer and Santa Claus and all this stuff, something's up with this. There's no way that our ancestors used this mushroom and, it, and it's deadly. And that's when I did my research and found out that it was the natural thing that modern medicine used to create the benzodiazepine class of drugs. What? And I thought there's no way that I am this fortunate that right when I need it, right when I'm begging for an answer, right when I go out looking at nature and there it is, like, and it's growing where I live, wait, this, what? <laughs> anyway, it was really awesome. And then I had to figure out how to use it because as you've seen, so much bad information. So I learned, you know, about how they're not consistent in how much is in each one and they were just popping everywhere so i brought a bunch of them home dried them out made what wound up to be about 15 grams of it and had the tincture and was like okay bottoms up and i didn't know what to start with so i figured <laughs> an eighth of a teaspoon and i took it scared to death because what if they were right and i'm gonna die tonight and I was terrified in 30 minutes and I felt a little calm, a little more relaxed. So I took another eighth and I felt more calm and relaxed. And then I got bold and took another half a teaspoon and that's when I started feeling those swells of waves of feeling a little loose and larger. And I was like, oh my gosh, the Alice in Wonder, oh my God, and it all clicked, large, small, wow. And that's when I started feeling narcoleptic and went to the bed and don't remember even getting to bed or falling asleep. And then I woke up at 4.30 in the morning, wide awake and ready to conquer the world. And that was nine months ago. After that first dose, I needed it again the next night, took it again the next night, a little more responsibly. And then the next night I just didn't feel like I needed it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to toss the clonopin and see what happens. Now, I am not giving you medical advice here. I am not a doctor. I'm telling you my experience, how I came here, my story. Consult a doctor or whomever you see for your body. Take responsibility for yourself. If you choose to pick this mushroom, you get your ID and know what you're doing. I know I have to say that because if I
pick too many and I have enough to sell, I'll probably sell some. And I'm not going to go to prison for practicing medicine without a license. I'm not trying to practice medicine. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm telling you what happened to me because so many of you are asking and this is how I got here. So you're on your own. Disclaimer. So for me, and I've heard a lot of people talking about the, the reverse adaptation. You know how you can adapt to something and you need more and more and more of it? It seems that with Amanita, it's an adaptogen and there's like a reverse. So I took it for two days and then I dropped the clonopin, um, didn't need it for another couple of days, took it again, then I didn't need it for a week and then I didn't need it for like two weeks and then I realized I was having some pretty bad anxiety. So the next time I, I waited about 10 days and that's kind of where I've been, just on a maintenance plan. But I've recently gone through a personal trauma, and so I've needed it just about every other day. But it, it's right there, no problem. I've also been uploading a lot more, and that's giving me more anxiety. So I've been taking it every day. But again, I'm taking just an eighth or a half of a teaspoon of the way that I make it that's, that's on my channel. But, you know, here I am back in the season again. It's September, October. So it's, no, it's been about a year. And... I've just fallen more in love with this mushroom and the more bad information I just got tired of writing it over and over and over and over everywhere and I thought ah I'll just make videos and I'm aware that I'm gonna catch a bunch of crap and people are gonna say stupid things to me that's already started so I'm not going by my real name I'm protecting my family I know people around me that know I use this they think I'm crazy they think I'm a druggie but until they've walked a mile in my shoes and had to live with the panic and anxiety and been on the road of benzodiazepines and the debilitating effects of it and having to come off of it, they can kiss my ass because it's something I would never wish on anyone. And this mushroom has saved my life. I am not on those drugs anymore. My mind is coming back. I'm getting sharper and sharper. The creativity, everything, it's amazing. I feel human for the first time in decades. It's working for me and this is my story and I hope you enjoyed it that's two videos now a little over eight minutes so thanks for joining on my channel cheers peace